surgery short case ganglion. Examiner will ask from you, please examine this lump. There is a lump, dorsal aspect of your patient hand. Most probably it can be a ganglion. What are the most common sites to have ganglion? Dorsal aspect of your patient hand. Flexor distal aspect of your forearm, anchor. Those are the most common sites to have ganglion. The most common sites are dorsal aspect of your patient hand, ventral aspect of your patient hand, and the anchor. Those are the most common sites. How big it is? It is small in size usually, 1 to 2 cm. It is small in size. Shape usually. Hemispherical in shape, hemispherical in shape, skin, there will be scar over it while previous surgery. It carries very high incidence of recurrence. Recurrence incidence can go up to 20%. Therefore, there will be scar. Surface, usually smooth surface is there. Surface is smooth. Edges. Again, well-defined edges there, well-defined edges. Tissue plane, it is not attached to the skin. It is, this is your patient lung. This is patient skin. It is not attached to the skin, but it attached to, but it attached to underlying tender. But it attached to underlying tender. Here, Extensor tendon, it attached to the extensor tendon, it attached to, it does not attach to skin, but it attached tendon. Consistency, soft to firm, it contains liquid, but that liquid has to occupy very small compartment. Because of that, there will be high pressure. Because of that, you feel it as firm sometimes. You show it soft in consistency. So, consistency can be soft firm. Fluctuant. It is fluctuant. It is fluctuant, but unfortunately it is very small. There, there will be no space to check the fluctuation. So, fluctuant, but no space to, to assist. Sometimes, most of the time, there is no space to assess the fluctuation. Transillumination. It is one of the brilliantly transillumined lump. One of the brilliantly transillumined lump. So it is brilliantly transillumined. Now you are going to present. Keep your hand like this. There is a hemispherical shape lump over the dorsum of the hand. Measuring 1.5 cm in diameter. It is surface smooth, edges well defined. It is not attached to the skin, but it attached to the underlying extensor tendon. It is soft in consistency, fluctuant, and brilliantly transluminant. My probable diagnosis is ganglion. I would like to offer him surgery under bloodless field. Most probably under general anesthesia. Then the examiner will ask few questions. What is a ganglion? Number one, what is a ganglion? Accumulation of myxomatous degenerative particle within the tendon sheath. Accumulation of myxomatous degenerated tendon sheath part within the tendon sheath give rise to generation of ganglion. Next one. What are the differential diagnosis? What are the differential diagnosis? There can be bursae. There can be bursae here. There can be joint cavity protrusion here. Small joint cavity protrusion, especially in the patient with arthritis. There can be lipoma. There can be downward cyst. So those are the differential diagnosis. Next one. Where do ganglion occurs? The most common site are here. Here and the anchor. Why? Tendon are most common there. So most common are those sites. Next one. How are you going to treat? Excision under general anesthesia. Bloodless field. 
that is the surgery. How are you going to achieve bloodless field? Application of tourniquet here. How are you going to applicate tourniquet? It is pneumatic tourniquet, pressure increase. It will increase pressure roughly about 100 mm mercury above the systolic blood pressure. Then blood supply will completely cut off. If you have blood, systolic blood pressure 120, you have to inflate the cuff to 220 mm mercury blood pressure. You can keep that pressure for 1 to 2 hours without trouble. If surgery is take more than 2 hours, you have to deflate for 15 minutes, then again you can reinflate and do the surgery to prevent ischemic necrosis of your hand, not hand, arm. Then what are the complications? What are the complications can have? There can be infection following the surgery. Infection is one of the complications. No damage can happen. No damage. No damage. Adjacent structure damage. Tender damage. One of the most important complications is recurrence. It carries very high incidence of recurrence. 5 to 20 percent of recurrence is there. Your patient will come again and again. Thank you very much. That is all regarding the ganglion.